came home and I got a chance to meet him and say hello, but he was swept off pretty quickly into the children's bedrooms because mum was complaining about all the toys being on the floor. What? Did you make this mess? <laughs> so what do we do when we make a mess? We clean up. Did you help make a mess? Yeah. Yeah, so let's clean it up. Let's clean this up, okay? Where's all this go? Where does all this go? In the chest? What a way to come home. <laughs> What a way to come home. All right, baby. Okay. You want candy? Yeah. Well, you know what? After dinner, if you clean this up and after dinner, maybe you can have candy. How's that? Yeah. Deal? Help your brother. Is this the first time that they're doing it by themselves? It, it'll work, but it, sometimes, it takes a lot of threats. Or bribes. Bribes, yeah. Unfortunately, sometimes that's what it takes. We went from, if you pick up your toys, you'll get some candy. You're tired. Get that. And then all of a sudden I saw him picking up the child like a human magnet where they would then pick up the toy and put it into the toy chest. Go. By the end, Dad practically picked up the mess himself. Go. Bit of a cop out. <sighs> this kid doesn't know what he's in for. What, what, do you, what don't you get time to do with the little one that you wish you had time to do? You because know, just so like, much. I feel like he's just left out of my life a little bit. Give him a bath or anything like that? Sign in does all that stuff, and when I'm home, yeah. somebody's got to keep these three occupied. Dad gets swamped by the older boys, which means he doesn't get to spend much time with the baby alone, which can be pretty hard on him emotionally. <laughs> At dinner time, I saw another example of mum and dad just not being aware of the needs of baby moles. I might be hungry. I'm going to see if he wants some more food. What's Moles telling you right now? <laughs> well, one of two things. I figured he's either hungry or it's his diaper's kind of wet. So I was just going to get a bottle ready. The diaper felt very heavy, but Dad was saying, well, maybe the baby's hungry. And when you've got a newborn, you have to start eliminating what those reasons may be that your child's crying, because your child's crying really is your child talking to you. If, if you know that he's got a sodden diaper... Yeah. No, I can feel his diaper is heavy. Right. So change the diaper first, and then go and do the bottle. You know, with him, it's a lot harder for me to figure out what his cry is. I don't believe you. Instinctively, you knew straight away. Joan told me to go with my gut. She goes, you knew what you were supposed to do. You didn't have confidence in yourself. Miles was still crying, so Dad just automatically picked up a bottle without even realising when he'd last been fed. You OK? Oh, that's not good. Fair. Miles was spitting up halfway throughout his bottle, so they need to be aware of how much he's had. we got two ounces down. I don't think that's that much. It's taken, like, really weird feedings. You know, before it was every three hours, and now that he's getting older, it's like in every cries, it seems. It'll be really important for both parents to keep a regular feeding schedule for Miles. <laughs> Spending time here has definitely given me an idea of how chaotic it can be for these parents. For this family, it is about managing younger boys and meeting the needs of a baby. And it's not working right now, that's why I'm here. I'm going to leave you to all get, hopefully, some good sleep tonight because I can't wait to come in tomorrow and uh, give you the download on lots of things that we can do here. We are looking forward to it. Yeah. It's been an eventful day and there's so much that I want to teach them with regards to the newborn. And really, I'm just looking forward to going in tomorrow and having a family meeting and helping them. So the first thing I want to talk about is discipline. There is none. Yeah. Little. You have threats. Lots of, lots of unanswered threats, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or bribery for them to do something and behave. That's, that's true. That's what we feel like. I mean, that's when you tell them something, they, they don't respect it. They don't take you seriously because they know that you don't follow through. We tell our children that we don't want them to behave a certain way over and over again because repetition is how they learn, not hot sauce. You put hot sauce on a child's tongue, it burns their tongue. What's that really teaching? I don't know if it really taught anything. It was just... Uh, Sounds crazy to no, me. it's crazy. It's crazy. I mean... You feel overwhelmed. 
having a five-year-old, two toddlers, a house to run, and then you have a newborn that comes along and it throws a spanner in the works because you have to learn to adjust and regulate everything again. But however, the needs and the demands of your newborn have to be met. They're a necessity, a necessity. We have only our memory to rely on right now yeah. on when those last feeds were, how long the baby slept, when the baby fell asleep, and where are we recording it? We're not. Nowhere. We're trying to uh, we're do trying it up, to record up here, yeah, but, we, but of course, sleep right. deprivation and running around 24, we can't rely on this. You're a flight attendant, so one minute you're here and then you're back on the plane again. So, you know, these kids are constantly having this small time with you before you go again. It's, it's very overwhelming for me to have all four of them because I'm not here all the time and I don't feel like I have that connection with Miles yet. And with him being fussy the way he is and me not recognizing all that right and now, getting frustrated. I think that's, it's tough. What I, you want I, for I yourself want is confidence. to feel more... More confident. Yeah. Just you looking at your little son yesterday, saying, I'm just not spending enough time with him and... Yeah. It's, it's true. It's like... You know, I want to, but I never have a chance because the other kids. So we need to make that happen. I'm all in. Let's do that. Let's get you to a place, both of you, where you feel you can do that. But all the hard work comes now. So we've got enough energy to kick us through this, right? Yes, we do. You do. So I look forward to seeing you later. Okay? Thank, Thank you. Coming up on Super Nanny. Oh, that's too far. Jet, you need to stop and wait for me. Mom takes a revealing trip to the park. Oh my God, no you are not. And a timeout so takes a turn for the worse. Feel it here, no messing around. When Super Nanny returns.